people who want to join, please join. It's okay. No worries. Please sit. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, just for your information, it's there in, I don't know, how many languages did it get translated to? Many, many, yeah, at least 20, 30, yeah, because this uh, sutra, Lama Zopa Rinpoche, always recommends uh, for world peace. Please join us down here, yeah, grab a copy, grab a copy, yeah, and c come down, don't sit too far away. Um, for world peace and especially on a special day like today, Labab Dujin, of course, we're very, very happy to follow Rinpoche's advice where uh, our karma, good and bad, <laughs> is multiplied by a hundred million times. Uh, so, and then of course, with so many things going uh, on in the world here, yeah, uh, so many wars uh, for world peace, Lama Zopa Rinpoche is always recommending especially. So uh, we doing it Tibetan style, meaning uh, uh, I will give you all 10 pages. Yeah, just remember the 10 pages. We do very quick. Uh, and then you can uh, read those 10 pages in your own pace. Yeah, so uh, we always recommend to read, uh, read sutras or any Dharma uh, text or, you know, Dharma teachings to read them aloud. Uh, read them out aloud so that all the beings that are around us right now we maybe can't see them but they will be coming soon or they're here already yeah uh, the monkeys the stray doggies you know all the creatures here that they can hear the Dharma yeah so uh, don't be too self-conscious <laughs> don't be self-conscious at all you know uh, you know just read it aloud and if people want to sit yeah <laughs> Come here, come here, dear. <laughs> uh, if people want to read it aloud and then all the beings around us, uh, you know, benefit. Come here, dear. There's so much space. I don't buy it. <laughs> you know, usually we are packed. We are packed together. Uh, so um, no need to leave a meter around me. Um, yeah, so in that way. So let's get these practicalities out of the way. So the sutra starts with, uh, and also don't get too tight about your page number, yeah? Uh, you can do a little bit more, a little bit less, it's all fine. So most, we have different versions, but most versions start at five, and then we just go 10 pages, right? And it uh, finishes at 145, yeah? So just remember your page number, and if you forget it, just ask your neighbor and count back again, yeah? Where do we start? With the Sangha, up there. 5 to 15, 15 to 25, 25 to 35, 35 to 45. If you could even open it already, then you don't forget. <laughs> um, oh, she's not looking. 45 to 55? Yeah, you all speak English? Yeah. 55 to 65, 65 to 75, 75 to 85. You can open it now, then you don't have to remember. Where were we? 75 to 85, 85 to 95, 95 to 105, 105 to 115, 115 to 125. 125 to 135, 135 to the end. Again, from 5 to 15, 15 to 25. Yes. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the, the first ones are already. <laughs> uh, to remember, just open the page already. Put your little finger in so you don't lose it. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Where were we? We started again 5 to 15, 15 to 25, 25 to 35, 35 to 45, 45 to 55, 55 to. 
115, 116, so 125, 125 to 135, 135 to the end. Okay. <laughs> 5 to 15, 15 to 25. Uh, Georgina, and if people come later, then we are at 25. Oh, 25 <coughs> to 35? For all of us, we don't listen only to you, don't worry. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? And see, the first doggy comes already. Yes. So doggy <laughs> not able to read the pages, so we read for him, yeah, or her, yeah? Uh, really, we can think like that, yeah? I mean, in this life, doggy can't do it, so uh, we, we do it for him. So then he can also enjoy. <laughs> okay, so that's the practicalities. So we get that out of the way already. Thank you so much. And then maybe we can just, you know, sit for a minute or two um, and focus our minds for why we're here. So we had a long meditation session just beforehand with a nice motivation. Uh, so just remember that. Most of you were here already for that, yeah? So just uh, remember the instructions and just maybe close your eyes a little bit. Some people like to keep a little bit open. And then just watch your breath, yeah, for one or two minutes. Thank you. So let's just take a minute to set our motivation. So on this beautiful day, we are coming together here at Tushita.
to read the Golden Light Sutra. As our spiritual director, Lama Zopa Rinpoche, has advised, recommended many, many, many times that the Golden Light Sutra is so powerful for world peace. Peace in our communities, in our families, and in ourselves. This is where it all starts. So today is a very special day. It's called Labab Duchin, where we celebrate the Buddha's kindness. So the Buddha. Buddha's kindness to repay the kindness of his mother, Lama Sirkan uh, Sanjab Rinpoche, one of our teachers, he always calls it the Mother's Day. It's very sweet, I think. Where the Buddha went, the Buddha's mother passed on after the Buddha's birth, before he there was a Buddha, yeah, uh, Siddhartha, uh, after one week. So the Buddha, after he become, became enlightened, he went up to a heaven where his mother was and taught his mother and she became very quickly a heart, a very realized being to repay her kindness of giving birth to Siddharth. So now we're celebrating basically the kindness of all the mothers, of our mother in this life than all sentient beings who have been our mothers in any other life. So you can just recall in your own mind your mother, your father, or your loved ones. Anybody who needs our prayers right now, especially. Maybe you know some people who are sick, who are struggling, who have physical challenges, mental challenges, people who have died. So just record them in your mind. Then let's expand our minds from our loved ones to people in your community. In your country. All around the world. Maybe even in different universes and different realms the animals. Here at Tushita we can hear the birds, stray doggies, the monkeys will come. And so many people, so many areas that need our prayers, especially right now. All the wars around the world, in the Middle East, Ukraine, Russia, so many people suffering. There was just a big earthquake yesterday, last night in Nepal. So many people died. In Afghanistan, they had three earthquakes in just one week. So many people died.
So by reading this sutra, we can keep all these beings in our hearts. We can imagine that all these beings receive some peace, light, happiness in their hearts while we're reading out the words of the Buddha. And also imagine why we're reading out the sutra. There's different visualizations. We can experiment whatever is, you know, suitable for us. You know, th that actually the Buddha is here right now. As we know the Buddhas are everywhere. So the Buddha is here right now and reading the sutra to us. And we have all the realizations in our hearts. So Lama Zopa Rinpoche is advising that as the best motivation, we can think, I must free all my kind mother sentient beings from the oceans of samsaric sufferings and bring them to full enlightenment by myself alone. Therefore, I'm going to recite this sutra. So we can dedicate for world peace, for the long life, perfect health, of all our gurus and for all their holy wishes to be fulfilled. For Lama Zopa Rinpoche coming back to us very, very soon. For all the success of Dharma centers all around the world. And in particular for our own success to actualize all the realizations of the path to enlightenment as quickly as possible in order to benefit all sentient beings. So before we recite the sutra, there is a mantra. Lama Zopa Rinpoche advises us to say, and in one, in some versions, you can see the mantra, in some others you can't. It's different prints. Some of you have it, right? It's very simple. Even if you don't see it, we can just say it seven times together. I say it slowly. It's on the first page of some of the versions. Om Dari Dari Ben Dari Soha. 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 This increases the merit of reciting the sutra by one million times. Too easy? <laughs> <laughs> Lama Zopa Rinpoche, in his immeasurable, immeasurable kindness, searched day and night through all the texts, all the sutras, to give us so many different methods so that we could make merit, yeah, good, good potential, positive potential. So, um, you know, so that we have happiness, right? And can gain the greatest happiness, get our biggest potential. And sometimes it seems too easy, no? But that is really, really Rinpoche's kindness, all the Buddha's kindness, that there are methods, yeah, um, where we can, you know, um, yes, 
easy merit. Sometimes we think it's too easy, it has to be hard and it has also these methods. <laughs> you want to do a hundred thousand prostrations or meditate on emptiness or read these big books. Uh, but sometimes it can be also the easy things. We just have to remember them, right? And there it starts already. So I would suggest we, uh, we read the preface. Oh, for the first uh, people who read from number five, uh, page number five, we take it a little bit away from you. Uh, the preface by Lama Zopa Rinpoche, shall we read it together? Yeah, and then we start with our individual pages, right? You all have it, page number five? I think in every version it's the same, no? This text is very precious. It brings peace and happiness and is very powerful to stop violence. By hearing this text, one's karma is purified. The purpose of our lives is to benefit others. We can bring others the happiness of this life, but the happiness of all coming future lives is more important. More important than that is bringing sentient beings to liberation, which is free forever from the sufferings of samsara. Most beneficial is to bring them to the ultimate great liberation of full enlightenment. That is the greatest service and of sentient beings. To do this, first we must achieve full enlightenment ourselves. For the success of attaining the whole path to enlightenment, listen to the Golden Light Sutra. This sutra directs our lives towards enlightenment. It helps us to be reborn, not to be reborn in the lower realms. The very first thing, the immediate danger that we need to stop immediately without delaying for one second is rebirth in the lower realms. We need a higher rebirth so we can continue to practice Dharma. All negative karma is purified by listening to this sutra. This text increases success, and especially for leaders like kings or presidents, it brings success to their guiding and virtue, the path to happiness. If you have problems for anyone dying or dead, or if the devas have turned against you, or nothing is working, or if merely by expressing yourself, your friends, loved ones, husband, wife, family members, and even serfs get angry with you, if your wealth declines or you have harm from black magic or spirits, or even if you have bad dreams or fearful things happening, then for all of these problems you should wash, put on clean clothes, and with a peaceful mind listen to the transmission of this text. Then all will be pacified. Anyone who hears it creates much merit and is highly admired by all the Buddhas. In whichever country this is taught, the whole country will be fed. The king of that country will not be attacked and disease will be eliminated. Everyone will be happy and the country will become harmonious and without quarrels. The king will give religious freedom and will always be protected by the devas. It is especially good to read this in places where there is a lot of fighting. As well, there will be prosperity and rains will come at the right time. It would be excellent to go into countries where this is much killing and read this precious sutra 100 times or any number of times. This would be valuable, very beneficial. Anyone who keeps, memorizes or contributes to this text exceeds the eight worldly beings and all their wishes will be fulfilled. Buddha told the four guardians to make offerings and serve this text and to always protect the people who memorize or even just read it. The four guardians acknowledge they will protect those who read it and would help and fulfill all their wishes. Memorizing or making offerings to this text is like making inconceivable offerings to Buddha. Enlightenment will never be reversed for anyone until he has spoken. This life will always be directed towards enlightenment and when we will not fall back. The Deva Himashiva Pala told Buddha that she will protect the bhikshu who recites this text and he will receive all that is needed, property, a stable mind and so forth. Whoever even tries to read or understand this text will experience the comfort and happiness of devas and humans for one billion eons fame and perfect crops and will become a Buddha. The earth goddess definitely will help even if only one chapter or one bodhisattva's name is mentioned. 
She will protect those sentient beings who read or try to understand even one verse and will fulfill their wishes. Those sentient beings who hear only one verse will never go to the lower realms. The Buddha told the earth goddess that even if a person hears only one verse, they will be born in a deva realm. Further, the Buddha told the earth goddess that non-virtuous karma of the person who hears even one verse will be eliminated and then will achieve enlightenment. Okay, so now we can read aloud in whatever you know, speed you would like, your pages, and then we can finish together. If you see somebody who's struggling next to you, yeah, uh, who can't kind of finish or something, you can also help that person out. Yeah, some people are really quick, some are a little bit slower. Uh, so don't worry. Yeah, we just kind of read it aloud for all the beings, you know, here at Tushita, all around the world, right? And then you can see sometimes some people have l easy pages. Yeah, it goes in nice verse form goes quite quick. Some people, you know, start maybe a, a little bit of hysterical giggling. Uh, there are some names of some, you know, bodhisattvas or beings where uh, the Sanskrit goes over three lines. Yeah? Then it's <laughs> the Sanskrit speakers here. Can Who had Sanskrit? Mm? A little bit? <laughs> then, yeah. So it, that can be a little bit challenging. Just go slowly, yeah, in that way. Okay, let's enjoy. So, here we go. Chapter one, the chapter. So you do your your pages, right? Mm -hmm. So we just all, you know, we are all we online. Read, everyone reads their pages. Everyone reads their pages. At the yes. same time. At the same, same time. time. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, Tibetan style. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 1, the chapter of the preamble to the King of Glory Sutra, the sublime golden line. Homage to all the past Buddha and present Buddha, Bodhisattvas, Pratika Buddhas and Shravakas, thus ever for the one time, the Tathagata and the Buddha's domain, of appearance, the profound sphere of reality, and vouchers be confounded in the Supreme Bodhisattvas, who are pure and stainless, the sting of the and golden line, which is extremely profound upon hearing, profound upon examination, in the Buddha's own quarter. Those who are to hear it, those who are to hear it, make offerings to it for the ten men, 
of the earth shall be the venerated by God and Naga, humans and Kinsara, the Asuras and Yaksas, the people without merit, who stole their merits with going to a limitless, incalculable, inconceivable mass, fiercely and heavily unprotected, by Buddha and the tender race, who slice that all the people that are sat by the gates of the earth, who found that in the form and the framework of the human Lord, who set the mind with strong love, shouting for the first of all, they who made the land and the mind of all the people. Chapter 2, the chapter on the span of Tathagata's life, the chores of more at that time, during the period in the great city of Rajgir, the dwells of Bodhisattva, the great king, the Rajgir, the Rajgir, who had venerated previous Buddha, cultivated roots of virgin, and rendered service to many hundreds of sons of the Indian Buddha, he thought to himself, what calls and what conditions will call to God's testimony to the world only eight years, that in such a short life, for the more he thought, the Lord has himself declared there is a reason that the cause has been unconditional for the Lord's life. What are these two for? There are namely renowned on the killing and giving of the holy. As for the Lord Shakyamuni, the mountain king, and he calls the hundred of all the means of the earth, he perfectly adhered to the path of the ten virgin actions. He gave away the food next to all the means. And in turn, the object of deeply, not only the dead and satisfied hungry living beings with flesh and blood and bones and arrows and all bodies, then why the lion king entertains him with all his regard to the Tathagata, his house transformed into vast and expanded in the palace of old Lapu Lazuli, embellished with new and divine jewels, its color transformed by Tathagata, so it was turned to surround me with souls of gold in the four directions, the merge of four thrones, made of the germ jewels, and thrones came to be covered with nets of divine jewels and fine country raiment, and on those thrones appeared divine lord of the dome with numerous jewels and color transformed by the Tathagata, from those lotus who rose the transcendent victor of Buddha in the east appeared the Tathagata Akshobhya and the south appeared the Tathagata Radnakidu and the west appeared the Tathagata Amitayas and the north appeared the Tathagata Dutusvishvara and when those Tathagatas appeared on those lines known the great India of Rajkia was filled with bright light that light pervaded all the troubled clouds and great sounds of world wisdom in the ten directions, the broad system as many as the grains of sand of the Ganges River, and into the divine flower, sun of down, and divine needle, the great sound, and through the power of the Buddha, all things are due to the trouble, sound, and great sound, and great sound, and great sound, and great sound, of the joy of the Lord, and of the sexual sense of the Lord, and of the sense of complete sense. Blind from birth of forms of the eyes, death through the dreams, the first song of the year, the same words were given to the Senate, the strength of beasts became a soul group, the native beasts became clothes and garments. Hungry gods became fully buried, thirsty beasts were cleansed, beings afflicted with disease became free of disease, beings whose bodily organs were defective became possessed of complete organs, many of known as events took place in the world, upon whom those Buddhas, the Bodhisattva, called Vira, Kita was greatly astounded, he was satiated, pleased to have been delighted, feeling happy and sad, and he went forward in the directions of the Tathana, and bowed in homage, remembered those Tathagatas, then reflecting on the qualities of the Tathagata Shakyamuni Buddha, he was vexed with misgiving about the lifespan of the Tathagata Shakyamuni Buddha. He wondered how is that the, the Lord Shakyamuni Buddha will be alive of only 80 years of the Tata, so I know in realizing the thoughts spoke to him, all child of the noble family, do not think the Lord Shakyamuni will have 
want such a short lifespan. Why? Because the child of noble family, except for the perfect and fully enlightened conquerors, Tathagata, we do not see among the world of gods, Maras, Brahmas, or more ascetic than Brahmas. Among God, humans, assurance, anyone who could perceive the first, this future reaches of the lifespan of the Tathagata, Lord Shakyamuni. As soon as those Tathagata spreads the observation of the lifespan of the Tathagata, Shakyamuni Buddha, then by the power of the Tathagata, the gods resided in the desire including Nagas, Yachas, Gandavas, as well as Garuda, Kinaras, and Mahu, Rajas, as well as numerous hundreds of thousands of millions of Bodhisattvas gathered and went to the house of the Bodhisattva, Ruchi, Rakhito, then those Tatars proclaimed the words of explaining the lifespan of the Tatata Shakyamuni to the entire gathering. The drops of water in all the oceans can be measured, but no one can measure the lifespan of Shakyamuni. To the finest particles, the atoms of Mount Sumeru can be exposed, but no one can measure the lifespan of Shakyamuni. The number of finest particles in the atmosphere can be measured, but no not the span of the conqueror's life or those who sound divine. One may wish to measure Spain, but one can measure the lifespan of Shakyamuni. The number cannot be found that explains the fully enlightened Buddha, like this many years and years to such as 100 million years. There are two codes to no conditions for this, pronounced in deadly violence, repeating, giving plentiful food, the finite count of the lifespan of this great being that explains the also how many years can be found, the years are indeed uncountable, and have no doubt, not even the slightest doubt, the infinite limit of the conquered life is not observed anywhere. Then, at that time, at that assembly, the Brahmin returned and found the court of Sanya India, along with the earth found the Brahmin venerated the Tantata, and here in the voice of souls, great Tantata, is completely gone beyond sorrow. The Garrus gathered in that place at once, bound to the feet of the Tantata, the Brahmin teacher is found of Sanya, Said, said to the Tathagata, if the Lord who sent a victorious person to all living beings, compassionate and desirous of serving, apparent to all, equal to the unequaled, eliminated life, the moon, wisdom, and knowledge growing like the sun, if you look upon all beings as upon your own sun, rock, and on them, please get to unguide it. The Tathagata remains silent, then through the power of the Tathagata, in that assembly of confidence grows that in Lachavi, the youth called Savaloka Pradyatashana, and he spoke that the Brahmin teachers found in India, why do you seek guidance, great Brahmin from the Buddha? I will give you the guidance you need. Thank you. 
Yes, we have completed our 10 batches. We have to read it again. Yeah, I will wrap it up. Okay, everybody, the people have not quite finished yet. Maybe we can help you afterwards. <laughs> or you can finish afterwards. I think many people are finished, yeah? Most? Yeah. Some people have some, some little bit harder to read <laughs> passages. So, after every virtuous action, yeah, and reading uh, the sutra, so the words of the Buddha is a hugely virtuous action, yeah, especially on a very special day like today. All the merit, remember, is multiplied by a hundred million times, and then we multiplied it again by a, a million times uh, by reciting the, the mantra. So all these amazing, amazing, amazing merits, yeah, we can now bundle up, so to say, and dedicate. So let's just take a few minutes just to dedicate. And to rejoice us coming here together on this beautiful day, very auspicious day, to read this amazing sutra with everybody here together, not just for our own happiness, but now we can remember all our loved ones. All the people in our communities, countries around the world, in different realms, the animals. So as we visualized in the beginning, reading this precious sutra to them and them receiving peace, happiness, the fulfillment of all their good wishes in their hearts. So just take a few moments to visualize that, you know, sending them much love, much light. All the beings who are in trouble right now have challenges, physical, mental challenges, all the war areas around the world, especially in the Middle East, Ukraine, Russia, all the people who died of natural disasters, all the people who have died of so many sicknesses. Just send them the, your love, your light, may realize the meaning of the sutra very, very quickly in their hearts and become fully enlightened. Please also dedicate for the long and healthy lives of all our spiritual teachers, whichever tradition. For us, of course, His Holiness the Dalai Lama. May His Holiness have a long and stable life and guide us until we all reach our greatest potential, become enlightened. all our other special teachers. May all their holy wishes be fulfilled instantly right now. <coughs> the 
then of course for us Lama Zopa Rinpoche who manifested power in Nirvana just in April for Rinpoche to return to us very very quickly in a new human body so we can continue to receive Rinpoche's precious advice Rinpoche's teachings Rinpoche's guidance May all the activities of all the Dharma centers and all the other centers or activities of so many good people all around the world succeed immediately. There's so much good happening in this world, so let's rejoice. How amazing. It's so many people trying to work on their minds, to become better people, to help each other. How wonderful. Lama Zopa Rinpoche encouraged us always very, very much to make one of our main practices rejoicing. And rejoicing in our own merits, our own good activities, other people's good deeds, activities. It's the easiest way to make merit, yeah, good potential, positive potential. So let's just rejoice. How wonderful, how wonderful that we all came together here. To finish off our dedications, there is His Holiness the Dalai Lama's favorite dedication prayer uh, from uh, Shanti Deva, yeah, who was a great Indian pandit and practitioner. And maybe we can read that together. I think many of you know. You all have it. May all beings everywhere, plagued by suffering of body and mind, obtain an ocean of happiness and joy by virtue of my merit. May no living creature suffer, commit evil, or ever fall ill. May no one be afraid or belittled with a mind weighed down by depression. May the blind see forms and the deaf hear sound. May those whose bodies are worn with toil be restored on finding repose. May the naked find clothing, the hungry find food, the thirsty find water and delicious drinks. May the poor find wealth, those weak with sorrow find joy. May the hopeless find hope, constant happiness and prosperity. May there be timely rains and bountiful harvests. May all this medicine be effective and wholesome prayers bear fruit. May all who are sick and ill quickly be free from their ailments. Whatever diseases there are in the world, may they never occur again. May the frightened cease to be afraid, and those bound be freed. May the powerless find power, and may to think of benefiting each other. For as long as space remains, for as long as sentient beings remain, until then may I too remain to dispel the miseries of the world. Thank you so much, everybody. Sorry, we are a little bit, no, exactly an hour, 11, 11. <laughs> nice number. <laughs> we started a little bit late, so we can go a little bit over time. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed, yeah, something different.
Yeah. Uh, there are some really special chapters in the Golden Light Sutra, and some people might recognize them. Also, may um, if uh, chapter 17 and chapter 18. Chapter 17 is really moving. Um, uh, how uh, the Buddha in its previous life, you know, saved so many fish, yeah, who were about to die. And chapter 18 is uh, it's called here the Tigress is a very uh, well-known story how the Buddha basically, uh, the Buddha in his previous life as a Bodhisattva, um, uh, gave his body, it's a very advanced practice, don't try today, please, <laughs> uh, gave his body to the tigress. Yeah, there was a starving tigress who was just about to eat her, you know, little cups, yeah, little, little baby tigresses. Tigresses, <laughs> uh, you know, mm -hmm. and so the Buddha, uh, the Buddha in his previous life as a Bodhisattva, saw that and had so much compassion, yeah, unbearable compassion, that he uh, gave his own body to the tigress. I know it's quite an advanced practice, but uh, yeah, it's very, very inspiring. If you ever have the time or you know the leisure or feel you know, um, yeah kind of inspired, uh, you can read these uh, chapters as, yeah, it's, it's very moving in that way. Here we go, and as I mentioned before, there is a whole web page about the Golden Light Sutras where you can, you know, also the people online right now, uh, where you can download the Golden Light Sutra, of course, for free in many, many languages translated, yeah, uh, many of these translations are very, very beautiful. And then what we usually do is uh, now so many, we have so many centers, sister centers all around the world. Yeah, uh, Tushita has uh, 160 cen sister centers all around the world. Some people, you know, in Australia, it is already, yeah, almost afternoon. Yeah, America is still asleep. So today all our sister centers, everybody, they are gonna, uh, probably many, many of them, you know, will also recite the Golden Light Sutra. So we have a continuous recitation of this sutra yeah, all around the world in so many different centers. And then what we usually do, uh, we count, yeah, by, uh, I think we recited two sutras completely, yeah? And who had the last pages? Until which page did you recite? Uh, who c did I count last? Uh, I was over till the end. Until the end, and then we started again till somewhere here, no? I, have I think Georgina, I, I told her kind of 25, right? I am 23, 20, 20, uh, 15 to 25, yes. and she is 55 to 15. Yeah, something like that. So we're going to, you know, uh, send, we have a little database, you know, where every center is basically sending in their completed sutras, and everybody can rejoice all around the world, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that this is so inspiring, yeah, that so many people all around, you know, are praying for world peace and doing something for world peace, and and uh, so much needed right now, isn't it? Mm. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, then have a good lunch break. Uh, if you wanted to come back to Tushita at one o'clock, we are reciting uh, the chanting of the names of Manyushri. It's a very interesting text. Uh, yes, <laughs> slightly challenging to read, but uh, if you really get into it, uh, and His Holiness the Dalai Lama just recently, just two weeks ago, um, recommended that text to be recited uh, for Lama Zopa Rinpoche's quick return. Yeah, so we're all praying that Rinpoche comes back very, very quickly to us. Um, so His Holiness just uh, did kind of, yeah, observation and said this is especially uh, suitable, yeah, so that Rinpoche comes very quickly back to us. So again, in many of our sister centers today, there will be recitation of this uh, text, and we are trying, because His Holiness said to recite it continuously, uh, we are trying now also to get it together in all our sister centers to, uh, until Rinpoche returns to us very quickly, hopefully, uh, that we recite uh, 24 hours all around the world together, yeah? So that always one person recites it somewhere in this world, yeah? So we are just uh, having that project right now, everywhere. Uh, then afterwards, three o'clock, uh, Glenn Svensson, one of our visiting teachers, Glenn, uh, been, has been coming since 2008 
every year without fail to Toshita to teach. Uh, so we're very happy to have him back. Uh, he will teach the next introductory course. Yeah. So there's still some spots uh, free for that. So, you know, if you're inspired and want to know more about Buddhism, you could uh, consider doing our next introductory course. It's the only course Glenn going to teach this year. And we never really know when if Glenn comes back the next year because he's so busy all around the world teaching and all has all these activities. Uh, so if you wanted to check him out, three o'clock, he's teaching on emotional balance and well-being. How to cultivate mental balance. Very good. Thank you, Raisa. Here we go. And for one and a half hours, of course, always open for question and answer afterwards. Then at five o'clock, we have a Madison Buddha Puja. Yeah, for one hour. Uh, it's in English, so everybody can recite along. And then at seven o'clock in the evening, we do light offerings. Yeah, as Manuela mentioned this morning already, if you want to be part of the light offerings, making one light, especially for your dedications, uh, you can uh, go in our reception office and uh, give a donation and then we also uh, offer your lights. But of course, lights belong to everybody. We can offer everybody's lights together tonight. Yeah? Thank you so much, everybody. Have a lovely day and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you so much. So the books you can put back. If you want to continue reading, by all means, please feel welcome. And these dedication <coughs> prayers, if you want to put them back here, that's very much appreciated. Thank you so much, everybody.